the other day I was having an online chat with someone about whether there was a corresponding feature in Affinity Publisher beta version to Serious Soul product, Page Plus, and the um, Clear Design button. Now, I must admit, I couldn't, I didn't know much about the Clear Design, I don't remember how it worked, so I've had a quick look, and basically, if you had like, I've got a, this blue line here is the print margin, and these red lines are the guide um, lines that drag out from the rulers. And I've placed a couple of logos on here from the assets manager, and like uh, you can, yeah, you, know, you can move your logo around and line it up to the guides, or maybe you know line up your text to the print margin. And you know, let, let's say that's how you want that to look, but you want to have a quick look at what this would look like without these guidelines in the way. You can click on the clear design button and you would lose your print guides and what have you. So this is what the feature we're looking for in Publisher. Now I've set up a similar document here and so I've got the print margins and I've got the guidelines. Now there is no button for this that I've found or can see. Um, might come in later versions of the beta of this pro, uh, Affinity Photo program but you can come up to the view menu and down to preview mode or you can do control shift and W which I'm guessing is command shift and W on a Mac and you click on that and you will lose the guidelines from view and you can bring it back in by just going back to the view menu. So that would be like a similar feature to the clear design from Page Plus. So while I was investigating this, I did sort of see a couple of other things which I will add into this video, which comes under the same sort of topic, which is view mode. Now by default, you have single view and clip to canvas. Now this clip to canvas is also available in Affinity Designer, um, but looking at the first one, we'll go for the split view option. And what that does, you have this black line that comes down the middle, of, and on the left we have pixels, and on the right it has vectors. And you can move this slider left and right, so you can look at the vector view of your image, or the pixel view of your image um, or page or whatever. Um, I'm not really 100% sure how this would work um, because I've got a picture and a line and a sort of image and what have you and I can't quite see what difference that makes but I'm sure there is a reason for that but just so you know it is there. So let me go back to single view now the clip to canvas now at the moment um it is set at it's got a tick on <coughs> so for example i want to take this image off the page for the moment i just want to stick it over here I mean, although you can see the blue line of that you can't see it so if i come up here you would have to sort of hunt around trying to find where you'd put it or come to the layers and try and find it that way. But if you come up to view um, view mode and take the tick off of that clip to canvas that is now visible off the page but on the artboard I think this is called in designer um, so it is visible and it's easy to see and then you can bring it back on as and when and as you can see I've also got one here that I had earlier from a previous trial of this and I'd forgotten it was there actually so the view mode 
clipped the canvas with the tick taken off and by the looks of it the shortcut keyboard is the backward slash so let me turn it off a second and put that over there so it can't be seen and the backward slash on the keyboard is there yes so the sh keyboard shortcut for that view mode to see things that are off the canvas is the backward slash which is on my keyboard anyway the one left of the Z on the keyboard so basically that is that very quick look at previews mode and view modes in Affinity Publisher thank you for watching and goodbye